So you were born to be both a really good endurance athlete and you were born to have good explosive power. What's interesting, we look at certain genes that might predispose you to be an incredible endurance athlete Mm -hmm. or certain genes that might predispose you to be an incredible sprint athlete and you split 50-50 straight down the middle. Okay. See, that's interesting because I was never the quickest. I was quick. I was up there, but only over like, I was more quick short distance. Yes. But in terms of long distance, I was always like, top three. That's so interesting. Yeah. Because there's there's actually a gene we look at, which is often called the sprinter's gene, mm. ACTN3. So that's, a, that's the only technical bit I'm going to talk about today. Okay. But this gene is particularly relevant to that explosive speed and particularly the starting element. So that, yeah. that first part. And we look at the gene and we say there are certain um, mutations that might make you quicker over short distances. And you've got both mutations. That's mad. Which is great. So you've got this a, a certain pairing. And actually, going back to your Jamaican heritage, mm-hmm. we, we see a huge history of, of great sprinters coming out of the Caribbean and, and Jamaica in particular. Generally, 30% of the population has this gene mutation. So you're basically saying I'm Shelly Ann Fraser Price. That's you are, basically but you, you could have been. You could have been because <laughs> you've got the same mutation. And 75% of these Jamaican sprinters have this mutation. That's crazy. But, That's but, but, but your fusion means you've got that explosive starting speed. Yeah. But the fact that you've also got that 50% endurance means you've got the best of both which I think works really well for football oh yeah for sure 